somewhere right about here. One can't say. You're going to step out into this five-story dome. The Greensboro Science Center doesn't have vision. And where we're standing is a giant outdoor tortoise exhibit. Right in here is going to be Bird Island. Facing this direction is going to be the view into the clouded leopards. This is Sloth Island. A tree house will be right about here. This 32,000 square foot project of the Biodome and Aquatic Rehabilitation and Conservation Center, known as ARC, kicks off with the demolition of the old Discovery House. An organization that's science based, science changes every day. We have to keep up with that. Executive Director of the Science Center, Glenn Dobergos, has overseen the project since its inception. So think about it, from this point on, almost all the way to Lawndale Drive. Now it's finally a reality. We're a very conservative organization when it comes to finances. We're not going to overstep our boundaries, and we didn't want to overstep it with ARC, but thanks to the generosity of this community, that cannot be understated, that's why we'll be able to build both. With so much in store. Right about here, kind of facing Sloth Island, we're purchasing um, a skeleton of an 18-foot giant sloth that used to live right here. This attraction is projected to bring in a hundred million in annual revenue for the city. We know construction's about to start right here for this. So um, according to Samet, they'll be wrapping up around April or May of 27. Once construction wraps up, Glenn expects the grand opening to be set for summer of 2027. But the vision doesn't end there. We will be building a new restaurant, outside rental, and retail complex. Because of course the vision, like science, is ever evolving. In Greensboro, I'm Manning Franks, WFMY News 2.